over years Just what you've been seeking Yeah, mama, here it is What you've been dreaming about when you're sleeping Yeah, here it is is, uh, you know, just one of those funky New Orleans back home uh, Detroit a la Atlanta, you know, seeing that I'm the drum guy, I could say that, but it's, uh, it's just a real funky tune, and it's just what we're just saying to people, here it is, you know. Here it is, oh, that's a good one, that's just, uh, a lot of the songs came from sound checks, um, here it is is a really good example of one where I just started going, bang, bang, tap. Just started hitting it. You know, uh, Mike started playing a riff. Enrico came in on drums and he kind of like didn't hear where I started and came in a weird place. And so Cyril started recording it and he sang into it and we were all listening to it. And then we started arguing about where the one was. I mean, there was like a two week discussion of where's one? <laughs> so we figured it out and uh, that's how that song was born. Like, like uh, about three or four, maybe about half of the CD was probably born in Soundcheck. I should've known, should've known, should've known, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should've known right from the start. Should've known was a was a kind of an R and B. I wanted a real kind of R and B throwback ballad, kind of like a I don't know, in the spirit of a Dock of the Bay or a Stand by Me, just a real kind of throwback. I, I'm real influenced by Memphis soul. Motown, Curtis Mayfield, Stax, like all that Stax stuff. That's just really, at the end of the day, I listen to all kinds of music, but that's really my bag, is soulful singing and, and guitar playing. Come on. Let's ride. Well, that's uh, something that I, I look at as the answer to prayers because I got the chance to be in the studio with my son, Omari Neville, and he and I actually wrote that song together. And it's basically a um, homage to uh, bikers, to Harley lovers. Uh, that particular song is a kind of result of my son and I just getting together and experimenting with different styles of music and rock was the one that he pointed to me. He said, man, you're a rock star, you're a rocker. So let's put some rock around you. And that's where that song came from. The song Trapped is pretty cool. It, it, the genesis of it was a guitar riff that I had come up with at Soundcheck. And it was just kind of this rolling, almost Hendrix-y, kind of uh, lick that starts to tune out. And um, I don't even know where we were, but I remember um, kind of having the foresight enough to get the iPhone and just at the sound check and just kind of record the riff. And we all do that actually. We'll be on tour, we'll be at sound check, everybody's got their iPhone. You hit the voice memo, you record a riff or a jam, and those end up being fleshed out, turned into to the song. Um, so we did that one, and then uh, we were on tour in Norway. We had a few days off. We rented a really cool studio, full of gear, and we just, for the first time in the band's history, we sat in a circle and said, what do you got? What do you got? And I was like, man, I got this riff, you know? And that was really a special song for the record because my riff, and I had a few lyrics at that point by the time we got to Norway, and then, you know, I think Mike added a chord, and Yanrico added a stop time, and everybody kind of threw their bit into the recipe, and the song came out, and it's, that's, that's a real fun one. I can't wait to play it live. 